Oh, it's recording already, great. Uh, that's really professional. Um, hi, mad robot builders. Uh, I've just received the parts for the robot. I'm gonna unbag them and show you all of the parts, but um, basically what this, um, this whole thing's gonna be about is uh, building a robot. So without further ado, we'll get on with the unbagging and show you all the goodies that have arrived from the People's Republic of China. Bye. Okay, folks, um, it's finally arrived. Um, I've been waiting for this in the uh, mail for about, uh, it's been about four or five weeks. I, I did uh, forget one item from the parcel and um, that only took about three or four days because it went in their satchel, but obviously this has come by ship from um, China. Uh, one of the good things about um, ordering this stuff from the company that I, I ordered it from was that uh, it was free shipping. So it was cheap, but it took a long time. So if you are ordering from the company that I ordered from or you're ordering surface mail from China, Expect about a four or five week delay, um, but you know it's it's worth the wait. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming because it's uh, certainly a lot cheaper. <clears throat> Keep in mind also, if you want to buy in Australia and you do need an Arduino or any of those parts that uh, I've purchased, some of those parts can be purchased from J Car Electronics, um, and they're they're a good place to go. A good hobbyist or they're what Dick Smith used to be before they started uh, pretending to be Bing Lee or something. Anyway. Um, Without further ado, I'll um, unbag all this stuff and we can have a look at uh, all the goodies that have arrived. Be with you shortly. Okay, um, let's see what's come. Okay, it's reasonably well packaged. The phone, which is always a good thing. I've been eating that. Um, Okay, folks, these are the, um, the parts that we've bought for our robot. And as you can see, this is the um, Arduino Uno. And if you want to find out a lot about um, this device, go to the link that's at the bottom of this video and, um, or on the page if you're on the actual site. And on the robot site, you will find a whole lot of um, videos that will tell you all about the Arduino Uno. But it's basically an open source um, piece of hardware, which means that you can copy it or anyone's allowed to copy it. And basically what's happened, because it's free and it doesn't have a copyright on it or any trademarks or anything like that, people are allowed to use it to do development work. So there's a huge maker's movement that's, that's um, been built up around this device. And I think it's, um, it's really exciting. It's kind of like the electronics that I did as a, a wee lad when um, electronics was uh, still a, a hobbyist pursuit. And um, you could um, take yourself down to um, Dick Smith uh, electronics and you could buy kits um, and you know fun way kits and whatnot and build lots of different devices well this is kind of like that and what's really great about this is that you can basically um, create anything with this sky is the limit and we're going to be building our robot with this and using this as the brain um, over here we have the motor shield now uh, the shield is um, a device that's um, compatible with the Arduino and they call it a shield because it sits on top just like it's a shield and it plugs into the Arduino and you've got various shields. This one's the motor drive one because the Arduino hasn't got enough power to power the motors by itself. So we've got this shield here and we'll plug that in there and that's what's going to drive our motors on the actual chassis that we're going to build. Um, and you'll probably notice both of these devices, because they've got um, semiconductors, which is just a fancy name for these little um, integrated circuits here that are sitting on top, the little black things with the legs sticking out of them, they're called integrated circuits. They are actually static sensitive. And you'll find quite often that computer parts will also be in this type of bag here, which is called an anti-static bag. And um, 
uh, basically that's to protect the devices from static because the static from your hand will actually destroy these devices or it could so you've got to really be careful when you're handling them um, don't over handle them um, and also you know try and I think probably what I'll be doing with these is sticking a bit of um, uh, contact adhesive across the back of them or something or um, I'm going to think about what I do because you've got to be careful for static that could actually cause problems too but try and protect them in some way you can actually buy something to protect the Uno if you're going to be sitting it on top of uh, desktops and whatnot so you don't short it out or do anything to it so we'll discuss that in another video but yeah just be mindful of static when you are handling these devices um, I was also mentioning the um, the eyes of the robot the ultrasonic sensor well we ended up with five of those that wasn't a mistake I went and looked at my order and I actually had um, you know good um, uh, $10 spent on those five sensors so they're actually two dollars each so they're very very cheap and basically that sends out a bit of sound and um, it looks um, uh, for the echo and it calculates the time the echo take, comes to take back and it's a bit like a bat using echo location and over here we have our um, wires these actually pull off and we use these when we when we peel them off I'm not going to peel them off now because I've only got one hand we peel them off and we use them for breadboarding and the breadboards over here and you just plug your wire into the board and you can create circuits on that board and I'm going to be showing you how to use that in another video also when we when we fire up the Arduino and make sure that it's working we're probably going to get it to do something really simple like flash a light emitting diode or something like that just to prove that it's working and of course um, you know what's a robot without uh, wheels and motors and this is the chassis um, it doesn't come pre-assembled so we're going to have a little bit of work to do um, building it but um, that should be a lot of fun. Um, it comes with two motors, one for each wheel, a couple of nice big wheels, um, a battery case and um, a front swiveling wheel. And um, finally, last but not least, we have a USB cable and the USB cable is um, how we're going to program the sketches. The sketch is just the instructions that the um, Arduino is going to use to do what it needs to do. And, um, you know, like I was saying, with the shields that plug into this Arduino, um, you can get it to do just about anything. And um, if you want to find out uh, about the Arduino, um, look at the links down below. You'll see a link for my um, robot site, um, which will lead you to lots and lots of videos about Arduino. Um, it's, it's a really exciting thing. I was very um, interested in electronics as a, as a child. Um, and then I sort of got, it sort of lost its appeal because everything became about digital electronics and became very complex and it became about programming and I just, I just sort of um, lost interest in it but since I've been watching videos on this particular device and what you can do with it um, it is amazing and I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this um, as, as time goes by so um, keep um, visiting the, the robot site and um, having a look at uh, any new developments and I'm sure that there'll be lots of new content as we, um, as, we, as we sort of experiment with it. Bye!